This is the most hotly contested ANC election since 1994. Six presidential candidates are vying to succeed President Jacob Zuma as the ruling party's next leader. All this is happening amid internal factions and crippling state corruption allegations. Speaking at the party's recent policy congress, President Zuma lamented this state of affairs. There has been a development of some very negative tendencies which have caused frustration and disillusionment amongst the membership and population at large. These tendencies which have been outlined before include patronage, corruption, social distance, factionalism, abuse of power, and membership system anomalies, such as the reported manipulation of the membership data, gatekeeping, and bulk buying of membership. This state of affairs is becoming more evident as cracks show in the former liberation movement. This, especially as the presidential race heats up. ANC Deputy President Cyril Ramaphosa and former AU Commission Chairperson Gosazana Lamini Zuma appear to be the front runners in the race. Veteran Cabinet Minister Lindy Wesisulu recently joined the race. She's a member of a family that, along with the Mandelas, were among the most prominent in the struggle against apartheid. Sisulu's nomination is in defiance of an ANC Women's League's call, a call to its members to back Nkosaza Nadlamini Zuma as the only female presidential candidate. Our people are beginning to despair for various reasons, and we need to ensure that we can give hope back to our people, because I am convinced that the ANC is the only organization that will ultimately deliver all of those promises that were made to our people at the dawn of democracy. And therefore, I'm making myself available. The new ANC leader will be chosen at the party's elective congress in December. You listen to Jamila CGTN, Johannesburg, South Africa.